بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين بارئ الخلائق أجمعين ثم الصلاة والسلام على شمس الهداية واليقين حبيبنا وحبيب قلوبنا وطبيبنا وطبيب نفوسنا أبي القاسم محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد فقد قال الله تعالى في القرآن المجيد والفرقان الحميد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم عسى أن تكرهوا شيئا وهو خير لكم وأسى أن تحبوا شيئا وهو شر لكم والله أعلم وأنتم لا تعلمون صدق الله العظيم Beloved viewers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us an eternal truth which sometimes we do not realize. But now that we are going to quote the verse, the relevant verse, inshallah, it will be able to seep through our good minds and our good conscience. Allah says, Asa an takrahu shay'an wa huwa khayrul lakum. Maybe you dislike and abhor something, but there is so much good in it for you. It is good for you. It's beneficial for you. Wa asa asa an tuhibbu shay'an and perhaps by chance you love a thing and you do not like a thing but you will find so much bad and evil and harm in it for you. Wallahu a'lamu wa antum la ta'lamun. Allah knows and you do not know. So Allah knows, has he left us with him alone knowing? No, the Quran has come to tell us what is good and bad. As Allah says, that it is tibyanan li kulli shay. It is the explanation and clarification of everything. And shahru ramadan alladhi unzila fihi al-Quran. The month of Ramadan is that in which we send down the Quran. nas. It is a clear guidance to entire mankind, all of humanity. Wabayinatim min al huda, and a spelling out of the guidance. Wal furqan, and it is the criterion, the standard of judgment of that which is right from wrong, truth from falsehood, good from evil. So right now, after the results of the elections in America, we have got, as they say, someone in waiting, the commanding chief of the world, of course, definitely. Uh, Firaun also said, Ana rabbukumul a'la, I am your great Lord, the highest, the mightiest. Then what happened to him? In the Quran, he couldn't even drink enough of seawater. His mouth had to be shut and he was dead. So we can get anyone calling himself anything. The last commander in chief or the one who is in waiting to go, Obama. In his watch, more black people and people of color have died at the hands of the whites, more. 
and we find that he was just, as people say, that he was working as an Uncle Tom for the white. As someone had said, and I heard this on BBC Hard Talk, where Saka quoted someone saying that Obama is a Rockefeller Republican with a black face. So that is what had happened. You can see more people of color have died in his watch, on his watch, than anyone else. So we find these type of people, and a Muslim, he should believe that Allah is the one. Like, for instance, the ticket that he, Trump, won on was on mostly the Islamophobic ticket. And as some writer last week, one of our own writers, indigenous writers wrote that the result of the American election shows the mentality of the whites of America. It's exactly, it is there all the time and it showed. Because of the results, we find that Hillary Clinton had 200,000 extra individual votes. So as far as the racism is concerned, more whites, because there were about at least 10 million black woods. So that is not what a black man will say about racism or Islamophobia. They are more careful. So majority of them, majority of them, they are on the side of being partial and racist. And Allah Iqbal warns them, Jo karega imtiyaze rangabu mit jayega. He, whoever it is, who makes distinction and difference between color and blood, if he looks at differences, then he will perish, whoever it is. It can be a Muslim pretending to be a Muslim and thinking that the Arab nation is a better nation, he will perish because my Nabi was the greatest Arab and he said that the Arab is not better than the non-Arab. And he said that the white is not better than the black and the black is not better than the white. Today, we look at white and not so white, black and not so black, colored and this, that, that, that and the other. Whereas our Nabi said, وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَنِي Adam, Most certainly, Allah has given dignity, decorum, and honor to every child of Adam. As Iqbal says, Admiyat ihtirame admi. What is humanity in a person? Is that he respects and honors the next human being. That is admiyat. Otherwise, no difference between us and no difference between animals. So, as far as Iqbal is concerned, he has got no time and he warns Muslims leave alone worrying about the people who are against you and discriminate against you like we have Islamophobia and Islamophobia affects the richest Arab in the Emirates and in the peninsula of Arabia, Al Hijaz. And also it affects the poorest person in Bangladesh. Same, Islamophobia is aimed against him. And how can we then have differences between us? And Allah Iqbal is against it and he warns the Muslims that we also have taken from the West the worship of idols in Taza Khudaome, Bara Sabse Watan He, Jo Pehran Uskahe, Wo Mazhabka Kafan He. Amongst all these newfound gods, that people have carved out, you must watch out that the biggest one is nationalism, is discrimination, differences between human beings and human beings. Or jo pehran uska hai, wo mazhab ka kafan hai, and the garb that it adorns is the shroud, the kafan of Islam. So Muslims must watch out. 
and we have to show everybody as he says nazara e derina zamane ko dikha de e mustafawi khak me is but ko mila de show this great spectacle especially today we have to show it to the world because it is race ridden even in south africa i was just listening to a program about how two whites tried to push a poor black man into a coffin and want to close the coffin and you must have heard about it and even the nationalists during that time they used to worry about islam remember during the synod of the drc they used to openly say and we have got documents that islam is a greater danger than communism of course communism has failed and is gone but islam lives on so that is what we have to show nazara e derina zamane ko dikha de e mustafawi khak me is but ko mila de o muslim o you who belong to muhammad mustafa you have to show this spectacle to the whole world you have to take this idols of blood and color and smash them so that they so that they become one with dust show this spectacle to the world so that you can become an example to them of brotherhood and togetherness and you will wipe out the scourge of discrimination and distinction and you will become like the nabi said kullukum adam wa adamu min turab all of you are from adam and adam was from humble dust so in the glory of islam we will find that you are told that you are made of dust but you have a job of work to do so let us prepare as muslims and not be afraid of these rattlings and so on that are coming from america and from the west sallallahu alaihi wa nabiy al-kareem wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa fi al-azzuli al-abdi al-dalili تبلغ بالقليل من القليل او بالقليل من القليل واي السد للسفر الطويل واي السد للسفر الطويل وفي عصيانه عار ونار وفي عصيانه وفيه البعد ما خزي وبيه